So, come now and enter the world of probiotics and microbiota. Yogurt is usually made by types of lactobacillus and streptococcus bacteria that are used to ferment the milk. On the other hand, different types of lactobacillus, seen here as blue rod-shaped organisms, and bifidobacteria, the Y-shaped organisms, are called probiotic bacteria, selected to provide added health benefits. The small intestine is home to billions of bacteria, the microbiota, including bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, which play a critical role in keeping us healthy through degrading food, counteracting bad bacteria, and modulating the immune response. Like a crowd of wall-to-wall -wall people, the bowel or large intestine is covered with over 500 different species or types of bacteria. The ability of bacteria to sense their environment is only now beginning to be understood. The organisms send out molecule-like sensors, then receive back information that can, for example, make them realize that danger lies up ahead. A problem for the host arises when a number of bad bacteria attach to the surface of the intestine in a biofilm, meaning a film of multiple layers of germs. The bacteria try to burrow a hole in the wall, putting the host at risk of more serious infection. In this example, bad bacteria have caused a break in the wall of the colon. It's believed that probiotic bacteria can counter some damage to colonic tissue. While the mechanisms are not fully understood, we illustrate this here by recolonizing the area with good existing bacteria and ingested probiotics, leading to cessation of diarrhea. As human studies have shown, probiotic bacteria help reduce the duration of diarrhea. In doing so, the waste becomes re-solidified and bowel movements return to normal.